Hi, I'm Jenny, and I need a new introduction. Uh, apparently I can cook. Who knew? So, <laughs> I crack myself up. Today, um, I'm making the obligatory food blog roast chicken with lemon and rosemary and all this stuff that you know already. You've seen this a thousand times. But I'll do it anyway. So, what you gonna need? And this may be revised as I'm going along because I was kind of making it up. A chicken may or may not have to be in a cast iron skillet. Doesn't matter what size. Uh, mortar and pestle. Isn't it pretty? Uh, rosemary, garlic, lemon, butter, pepper, and salt. Pretend there's salt on the table. I'm going to make this up as I go along, but um, I'm going to make a compound butter. Compound butter? What's that, Jenny? That's a big word. A compound butter means butter with stuff in it. So the stuff I'm going to put in my butter is some garlic and some rosemary and some salt and pepper, and that's it. And maybe some lemon zest. Let's add some lemon zest into that. Cool. Again, making this up as I go along. Can't really go wrong with garlic, lemon, and rosemary on a chicken. I'm probably going through a lot of extra work without needing to, but I like saying compound butter and saying that I used one. Yes, I'm using my counter as a garbage plate, whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to smoosh these up a little bit because it's easier to chop things than to mortal and pestle them. Smoosh. Into the mortar. Can you see the mortar? Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Yeah, I realized on my last blog on lava cakes that you could not see half of what I was doing. I was just so excited to eat them that I forgot that I was blogging about them. Okay, let's take lots. Oh, I'm all garlicky already. Mm, lovely. Uh, let's take some rosemary. Get rid of the stuff that doesn't that isn't green pretty much and give that a coarse chop again because it's easier to chop things than to mortal and mortal and pestilize them yes pestilize is the verb form of pestle and the room smells fantastic okay apparently this is the musical show Cool. Does that look like? Yeah, that looks like enough. Okay. Into the mortar and pestle again. Now, take our mortal and pest pestle. Mortar. I've been saying mortal like the opposite. I've been saying mortal like the opposite of immortal. This is not a death machine. It's a mortar. Mortar and pestle. Okay, so I'm going to add some salt to this because that supposedly helps um, break up the garlic. So crush it. We're going to take, um, this is like two and a half, let's say two tablespoons of butter and smash it. Compound butter. Ta-da. Where's my zester? That looks like a lot. Okay. Now chop you in half. Here is our chicken. Yum. I don't know what these thingies are, so I'm going to cut them off. They just look like fat deposits, but, you know, no one eats fat deposits. Giving my bird some liposuction. In its butthole, we're going to stick half of the lemon. Oh, darn. Uh, we're going to take the paper off of some garlic and stick those in there, too. We have three cloves of garlic and a lemon so far in there. And let's stick in a sprig of rosemary. Let's stick in two sprigs of rosemary, because I have two left. So compound butter is now garlic, rosemary, butter, and lemon zest. We're going to stick our E. coli cover, salmonella, that's what it is. We're going to stick our salmonella covered hands under the skin, loosen up the skin. 
take some paper towels, make a dry bird. Because, like, it was packed and it was juicy and stuff, so now we have a dry bird. Now that we have loose skin, dry bird, we're going to take a handful of our compound butter, go under here, and try to make it not one clump under the breast. Because the breast is my favorite part, so it should be the most flavorful. Get some on the wings, not that anyone ever eats the wings. Get some on the butt. Massage it in. Little massage. Oh, you have so much tension. Okay. I was having a bad day, the worst day of my life, practically, and Jessica made me get this. It's so pretty. It's a little juicer. So, let's juice this. There we go. Juice, juice here. This is also an homage to my favorite blog right now, um, Hyla Cooking. Check her out. She's the shit. So, put the butt back together and tie the legs together. And put the wings behind its head like it's doing the macarena. Today's like gadget day, like kitchen gadget day. I'm gonna put in a probe thermometer. Really, I don't like when any recipe tells you a time to cook meat because there are so many variables. And this is why I like Alton so much. Um, if your bird's too big, if your oven's crappy, or if your oven's too good, all these things, I hate when recipes give you times. Because you don't know, again, if your oven sucks, and then your bird sucks. So, probe thermometer, stick it in the booby, in the biggest part of the booby, and make sure you don't hit any ribs. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chicken in the oven for like 20 minutes on 450, preheat your oven. Um, that's going to crisp the skin. And then, and I set my little timer, and then um, we're going to break it down to 350 and cook it until this beeps at me and says 160 or 165, 165. Let's say 165 because I don't like dying. Uh, so 165 and then it'll rest and then we'll eat it. Maybe next to some asparagus risotto. Don't ask me what it is a French dish. Maybe because I'm doing it so wrong that they can't be Italian. So yes, some <laughs> French asparagus risotto. Mwah. The chicken is done. Let's take it out. There it is, my bird. So we have to let it rest. So I'm going to tent it in some foil and let it rest. You didn't see that. Here is my roast chicken. It's lovely and it's so juicy. I should have taped myself carving it because this thing is like juice. Chicken should not be this good, but it is. I'm a genius. Go make it yourself.